and I'm going to register a domain name and show you the process step by step. Now I'm going to use Name Silo because it's one of the cheapest domain registrars that I found. But this process will work whether you use GoDaddy, Namecheap, or any other domain re registrar. Now if you would like to get everyday $6.99.com domains with no upcharge for renewals, you can go to majorandwp.com forward slash name silo and I'll put that link in the description below. Now it's an affiliate link so you will also be helping me support this channel. Now first off if you're having trouble choosing a domain name I'm going to link an article in the description below as well that has some tips that may help you choose the right domain name for your site. But just because you have chosen a domain name it doesn't necessarily mean it's available. To find out we have to do a search. Now there's two ways to do this. You can type in your domain name that you're looking for right here on the home page and hit search. Or we can click the register tab here. And this will give you some options. Again you can just type in your domain name you want and search. But maybe you've narrowed it down to like four or five. You can list them all right here in the middle box and search all five of them. Or maybe you're looking for a bulk buy and you have, you know, dozens upon dozens that you want to search at the same time. Well, you can load up a file right here with the limit of 500 and it'll search all those as well. Now, as I mentioned, you may not get a chance to register your domain name. And I've got one here. I'm going to copy and paste in that I know has been bought by someone else. So if this is the case, as you can see, it's registered with the .com, the .net, the .org, and the .xyz. So you have some choices here. You can, if you're just in love with that domain name, register it under another TLD, like .us or .info, .site. And at Domain Silo, they have 374 top-level domains. So you can click here and even find more options, maybe a .co or a dot academy or a dot just about anything. The second option is right here and they have suggested domains based on what you have put in your search. And as you can see there's a few different suggested domains that you can also look for. You know dot nets, dot com and you can search through those and see if one of those might pique your interest and you can try those. Now, if you've read that article that I linked below, have done any kind of research whatsoever, you understand that the .com is what you want. So that's what I would go for. Find something compatible to what you want in a domain name, but find it in a .com. So what I'm going to do is look for one for my demo site that I'll use in future vid videos. And we're going to search for it. And as you can see, it's available across the board. As you also can see, anyone that you've searched, it'll leave up here. Which is, you know, if you're doing comparisons, that's great. And you can just hit the X and get rid of the one you don't want. One of the nice things about Name Silo is they are a domain registrar only. So when I click here to check domains, the register, then it's going to go straight to checkout. There's no upsells coming. There's no advertisement you have to click through. Nothing. So in this case, I'm going to hit the .com because that's the one I want. You can click as many as you want and then hit register check domain. Now you have some configuration options. The service link I'm just going to leave as none. And now you also can buy a domain without hosting. You don't need hosting to buy your domain. But if you do have hosting and you know what your name servers are, you can enter them right here. And what a name server is, it actually points your domain to your hosting account. And in the next video, I'll go over what that is and how you can change them. Here you can hit auto renew, and that's just a personal preference, yes or no. Privacy settings. If you saw the previous video on Name Solo where I did the overview, you know they got free Who is Privacy. And if you need to know what that is, I'll put a link to that video in the upper right hand corner. And then you can select the number of years from 1 to 10 and this will vary depending on your top level domain some of them don't let you register 10 years at a time I'm gonna pick one because this is just gonna be my demo site if I was doing this for a website that I was gonna actually use I personally would go for two or more years 
as a registration. Now you can go down and you can see ICANN fees are included. Processing is free. There's no hidden charges, no anything. It's six eighty nine dollars for my dot com. Now you can search the internet if you want. They do have coupon and promo codes out there. But why am I six eighty nine dollars instead of six ninety nine? dollars It's because Name Silo has a discount program you can sign up for. It's free and there's no fees. And what you do is you can deposit a minimum of $50 into a, a name silo account fund. And when you do that, you get an extra discount when you're registering a domain or transferring a domain. Now, as you can see, it's not huge. It's $0.10, cent, but I did get it for six eighty nine. dollars So I would just click that, accept the terms, and then click Place My Order. Now, I've done this before, and I've already registered the domain. And to be above board with everybody, I messed up the video and lost it, so I had to redo it. So I've already registered it. But once you hit place my order, uh, with me, within probably 15 seconds, I got an email saying it's yours. And then it was ready to go. You can do with it what you want. And like I said, in the next video, I'll show you how to actually take the domain you just bought and point it to your hosting account. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a little something. If you have, please click the subscribe button and the like button below. And until then, see you next time.